So welcome, and today with me is my good friend Heather Barry. And like I've said before, I have invited people on to this week of people that have inspired me. So through my journey of self-discovery. And then I'm hopefully that these people are going to help you to inspire you, hope and inspire you as well. So thank you, Heather. Let me just, just jump in. Every Monday we have our accountability talks, don't we? And um, yeah, I think we inspire each other. I ins You inspire me definitely with um, your entrepreneur's skills and experience and um, some of the stories that we, we say. But like I've said, uh, you know, we're looking at the strategies because that's the important place of where we want to go and how to get there is by using strategies. So let's begin, Heather. Let's begin from the start. Where did it all start? <laughs> where did it all start? Uh, <laughs> uh, it, it is a very long and varied story, as you know. You've heard bits along the way. Um, and yeah, thank you. It's, it's great to be here. And as you say, we we have really inspired each other um, over. Yeah, you know, we 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 chat every every week. We have a conversation, and I think that's been we kind of go through the highs and lows with each other. And I think that is almost almost a really important thing for people to to know is that having somebody in your corner who can be that critical friend, um, where you can trust their feedback, trust their honesty. Um, is a really good thing to help you to, to, to build confidence. It literally starts with that, knowing that there's someone and it, it doesn't, it's probably better if it's not someone in your close personal family circle type of thing, mm -hmm. but it's someone who mm -hmm. you literally know, like, and trust where you can be honest with each other. You, you value each other, you respect each other. And to, to know that that person will give you feedback that is honest and that really builds your confidence to be able to, to say things. If you can say that to that person, then you can kind of say it to anybody. And, and if you can trust that that person will give you the right sort of feedback that's helpful, and you don't have to agree with everything. You know, we mm -hmm. say something to each other and we kind of go, uh, yeah, thank, thank you for sharing that, but this is my perspective. And you can have that respectful disagreement, yeah. but it's somebody that you can listen to. Mm -hmm. I think that's kind of like, quite a key thing um sorry to digress there already um <laughs> but my my you just say you, you you did say you did say keep me keep me on the keep me on track Claire keep me on track <laughs> I was just about to say so before all accountability Heather where did we all start where did it all start for you <laughs> I've, I've been an entrepreneur I've had some little bit of businessy thing going on literally since I was five years old um, so there's always been a little bit of something. Many people in my family um, have run their own businesses. There are quite a few medical people in my family, but um, as GPs once were, they were self-employed. So that's on one side of the family. So there are lots of entrepreneurs in my family. But interestingly enough, not many of them really kind of went for it. They kind of, it was almost like they entrepreneured themselves into a job um and that's yeah so for me i i've kind of been driven a bit by i want to do more with this um and so that has required a huge amount of confidence because in some ways it's relatively easy not not completely but relatively easy to be in that comfort zone where you're just kind of you know bobbing along you're doing what you enjoy you're earning enough you've got nice people around you and it's quite easy to 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 reach that state, um, mm. but then to kind of and I think, and I don't know whether this happened. Yeah, I don't know whether this happened to you, but I know it happens with a lot of people that when they've got family around them are in that state of mind, they don't get that encouragement. I don't know whether that happened to you, or they they may get encouragement, but they're like, yeah, but maybe you just need to do this, this, and this, and they're not really seeing your goals and aspirations. Mm. I, th I think there's a bit of both um i think a combination of yeah some people was just like oh you know yeah one day you'll get a proper job kind of thing hmm. um and yeah i did that yeah i did that for a while um other people and and i think this the combination of me not being very good at um 
at explaining and describing and kind of telling the story of where I wanted to be because I kind of didn't understand mm. that whole side of business and that's really actually yeah. really important is that I understand my own story, my own why, all of those things. And if if I can't explain that or share that with somebody in a way that they kind of get it, and then they're totally yeah. on board. And the more I got into understanding that and being able to share that with others, um, then they kind of started to, to get it. And they, um, I think they were always just supportive generally, but in terms of really yeah. being on board, it kind of took that yeah you know, it it took me getting to a point where i really got it as well i kind of had to believe yeah. in myself um and it was me believing in myself that then enabled them to believe in me i think they they kind of we sort of it was sort of low level yes they believed in me because i'm daughter family whatever um and i sort of believed in myself because yeah. i had the idea and there but it was kind of quite low level and it was only when i so you, those two things almost need to bounce off each other to build to be really inspiring and that, for them to what you just to said a real story what you just said then was massive and that's a huge thing and i think that's where maybe some other people actually um don't get or hasn't haven't seen it yet, is the belief in yourself so that you can get the story over so you can convince people this is who you are and where you're going but if yeah. you're fumbling around don't quite believe your story then people automatically will read your body language whether they train or not yeah and then they'll and then you hear people say oh well maybe you need to do this because they can see that you're not confident enough to actually tell your story don't you agree yeah and in fact when you when you've built that confidence and you can tell that story with confidence and yeah, there's yeah. going to be a little element of fake it till you make it. But when you can do that, then that word, convinced, the word convinced doesn't have to come into it because they see you, they see your passion. They see what you're trying to deliver mm. and the, and the outcome that you're promising with what you do. And they kind of go, yeah, yeah that's the person. I love your energy because there will be, a thousand other people who do what you do a thousand other people yeah. who kind of go i will help you 10 times your problem whatever your outcome is that you promise there will be somebody else who does guaranteed yeah there's mm -hmm. there's not there's there's very little that is unique in this world yeah except who you are yeah. and your energy and your stories and the what's brought you to this moment and being with that person is yeah yeah i i do goal strategy there are other people who do mm. goal strategy but nobody does it quite like me and okay. even if they no. no even if they've read my book understand my process etc they, they won't deliver it the way i do it they won't bring to it everything that i've brought and all my experience yeah. and you have to bring that self-belief in that you do it in your unique way and people will buy into you you know it's like it yeah you know, because some, sometimes you'll come and go well wh why didn't they want to buy from me i'm like yeah we, we get that we've all had that sense of rejection yeah but if you put the shoe on the other foot and think okay if i was faced with two or three coaches or two or three accountants or two or three whatevers why did i choose one over the other and that was your personal choice There's, yes i like their energy or like that thing that they were that, that yeah that bit resonated with me and other people will look at you in that same way so it's the fact that they haven't chosen you isn't necessarily a judgment on who you are and what you do it's just that something else in their the person yeah. that they did choose to work with just grabbed them more and it, that's a another big thing in that confidence thing. you know what you that's yeah that's absolutely right, that is. And um, I spoke to my stepson the other day, and um, he's in the UK now looking for work. And I said to him, you're going to have setbacks. People are going to say no to you. That's not a reflection on who you are. That's a reflection on the whole environment. It doesn't mean that you're doing anything wrong. Mm -hmm. And I gave him a scenario, Sylvester Stallone, who actually, he was homeless 
before he made his millions. And there's so many people had said no to him. But like you said, he didn't give up. His why was big enough and he was confident to keep on going. Yeah. And, I, and I think it, it doesn't mean that you don't reflect. You don't just go, oh, well, they like the other person better for whatever reason. Um, I think it's oh, no, no. to reflect and kind of go, could I have done something differently? If you can ask them for feedback, always good. Um, because we learn from that. And if they can do it in a kind way um, and you ask them in a way that mm. enables them to do it kindly. Um, but to get that yes. feedback is really important because then you kind of go, oh, actually, had my, had my process been a little bit easier because they might have stumbled through your the way your funnel works or something they might have struggled each time they wanted to come on a call with you they struggled to get onto zoom that's their anticipation mm -hmm. that working with you will be a bit of a mission there's nothing to do with mm -hmm. how good you are or how brilliant you are how good your process is but it was a logistical thing that for them so if they said oh, i really struggled to thing or i only ever heard back from you after two or three days but like, okay i mm -hmm. I can learn from that. And again, yeah. that will build that confidence because it's like you, the, the more the more you learn, the more you tweak, it will help you build confidence in actually I've now got a really smooth operation. I'm doing this. Yeah. Re yeah, that OK, that bit flows really well. Oh, that's great. And then because that is like if if you know your your sales funnel flows really nicely, they go to whatever the landing page and then there's that and then that and like three or four steps. And if that flows really well, that will give you confidence to go to people. Please just pop onto this page and go and book or enter your details because you know that the process will work. You, you know, you, you, you kind of realize that actually it's. Um, and so things like that can give you a little bit of external confidence, which can then build your internal confidence. But um, and it's having the process. In absolutely yeah and it's having those processes in place then isn't it and like you said and and that is the same way in life and whether you're in business or whether you're in whether you're uh, in a job or whether you're um a stay-at-home mum um a housewife whether you're i don't know whatever you're ever whatever that's a good one whatever you're ever <laughs> It's the strategies you put in place to get where you are and the belief in yourself. So what, okay, let's not go to the what at the moment, but where are you now in your confidence levels, in your business, or in your life? Where's Heather? Where is Heather <laughs> Barry right now? <laughs> big question, big question. And actually we did digress from kind of where I came from. All I said was I've been an entrepreneur since five, but... I, you know, I did lots of different You can go back if you want to. Yeah, I've worked, well, I'll just touch on it a little bit. I have worked in various different things. Um, I was exceedingly, yeah. exceedingly ill when I was born um, and shouldn't have made it. And I think that has framed a yeah. little bit that I kind of do go for it and possibly a little bit too much that I kind of go for it and, oh, it's not working, so I'll go somewhere else. No, it's not working, I'll go somewhere else. And the little squirrels in my head always kind of taking me somewhere else. And I think that now, sort of later on in life, still alive, brain's working, all good. Um, and I think that's that ability now to focus more and kind of go, actually, when I have kind of brought it all together and just focused on not necessarily just one thing, because I don't think I could ever quite do that, but really brought things down to a kind of like, let's just do one or two and do them really well. And then, and then the yeah. thing is I get results. Whereas before, I think some of my lack of confidence before was because I was trying so many different things. And of course, nothing worked because they, they weren't getting the focus they needed. Um, but yeah. once I started to, to kind of bring that down and kind of go, okay, I'm going to work on this one and this, and that's my vision for that. And I think sometimes people kind of go, oh, well, if it isn't quite working, is it not quite working because it's the wrong thing? or I'm just not doing it hard enough, or I'm not trying fast enough, etc. Yeah, that that takes a while to kind of learn and understand yeah. yourself well, and to kind of go... What's, uh, why is it not working, yeah. and what, what's the reason? Exactly. And again, that's yeah. also a time when you lean into those other people in your circle, and you kind of go, 
do you think mm -hmm. that if I did da, da 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 would this make a difference? And I think, as I say, that's that develops as 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 we get more experience. And I still have things where I kind of go, I really, I love, yeah. Am I hanging on to it just because it's my baby, or am I hanging on to because it it's a really good thing? Yeah. Is that is that success that Sylvester Stallone or the J.K. Rowling or the whoever just around the corner? Yeah. If I if I do if I take it to one more person, it's the right thing. But I think that yeah, we... it's like that. Have you seen that? Um... Sorry, I think we we're on a bit of a delay here as well. Um, have you seen that? Um, uh, it, it's a it's a picture. It is of miners underneath the ground, and it's depicting sort of um, success. Yes. And they yeah. they mine in the okay. ground like this, and the one, the one so close. And turns around and walks away, and they, yeah, yeah, they're just there, and one carries on going. But it's, it, it is, it's figuring out. One of my things that I found out when I dug deep into myself, and when you dig deep into yourself, you find things you're quite surprised in. But I was the same with you with projects, and you know, going from project to project, not quite getting there. And one of my reasons for not succeeding in these projects was my self worth. I didn't. I wasn't able to allow myself to be worthy of success. So putting those strategies of overcoming those blocks that I can be successful, then that propels me forward as well. So it's it's good, like you said, it's figuring out the different ways. Like you've got your squirrels and you and you know that it's all you needed to do was focus on the certain projects. Yeah. And I needed to do was push through that boundary. And that's the thing about digging deeper into yourself and like we have our accountabilities every Monday morning and we discuss things and you know no stone is unturned and we have really good conversations and um, sometimes they're business sometimes they're not you know but that's a good business relationship I think you know where absolutely you know you once you solve your personal issue so not the personal issue but once you get the personal stuff out of your mind then um it depicts on in your business as well and in every step of the way of your life yeah and i think so getting those strategies into place to allow yourself success so you can build that confidence to be and success is whatever like i seen something on um, facebook today where success was somebody owning a motorhome and traveling around france that was their success and somebody else's success could be a 10 million pound mansion you know that could be their success success means different to everybody yeah we we have a we have an expression at effects of entrepreneurs and it's you know it's about what is your vision of success because yours and mine yeah. you know we talk so much of it they still they're still completely different you know even in yeah in any yeah in any in you know two individuals their vision is is different even if you look at relationships and you'll kind of look at one partner and the other and you kind of go they will have different things of what an end goal might look like and i think that's really important and i think that's why i struggle yeah. sometimes with the sort of more cookie cutter i call them kind of courses where it's where they promise an outcome and it's like i'm going to 10x your turnover by you know next thursday um and i struggle with that because um some of them whilst there could be some great strategies in there i think people sometimes are aiming towards something yeah. that is that's not what they really want and if they kind of think about it actually 10 times in their income is not is not actually their goal um we we yeah we've talked a lot about this how yeah. we talk about goals is like it's completely different and it's it's about it's much more tied into that that vision and that purpose and that how you're going to achieve it and is it what you want it's not what somebody else wants yeah. <laughs> um so yeah so that's and and in fact i think that's if you say to me what you were asking just now is like where am i now i am far more yeah. tuned into um you know leaving leaving a few things behind um in terms of of business there's certain things that have have done their time um certain things that i am mm -hmm. you know and and i think that thing of acknowledgement um i, I was ch chatting with with my friend laura the other day and this idea about acknowledging acknowledging where you are now where are you now 
looking at me, where you might like to be because we've got no idea what's going to happen in five minutes time let alone anything else um where where what might that look like but it's in acknowledging where we are right now what resources do we have that's the time the money the, the the energy the um the business idea or the whatever it is and what what can i what can i do with that what what are the possibilities that exist and i've yeah you know, i've had to as you say there's some soul searching that goes on because yeah one of the businesses that i'm looking at kind of moving on from a little bit i'm going this has been this has been part of my life for 16 years yeah it's a big thing i know um i'm, I'm still working out how it's going to happen um i don't know but my but my focus has changed what are the things that are important to me and and in looking at what's important to me and what can deliver that so it's like it's like it's like when you go and buy a house you know you're never going to tick every single box but you know which are the things that are really you know what are the non-negotiables in that mm. and then we and as i say and like looking at what you know is is this business actually um as a as a good friend of of both of ours uh he said to me once you know is your business going to grow scale you know sell franchise yes um and if it's if it's not going to do that it's a hobby and it's there's nothing hobby. wrong with that but if you if it doesn't have the capacity to become a business there is also a confidence in going it's it's done its time i've i've loved it and it's been amazing and look at all these incredible things that it's enabled and to say thank you to it for everything that it's enabled and then to have the confidence to go it's it, we need i need to move on from this now um and and that that's yeah. as big a bigger confidence thing as taking something else and kind of going this has got legs this is this is exciting this is we can run with this um so they yeah, yeah, they, yeah. there's confidence in in always you know running with someone but also with kind of going actually no this is this is done our, our time is done here um so yeah, and, so it's, that's, and it's figuring what, out as well. Sorry, just in terms of where I am. And it's figuring I'm, out as well. Yeah. Go for, oh, and it's figuring out, yeah, we oh I lost my trailer thought then. That just went gone. <laughs> where did that go? Figuring out, yeah, figuring out where where you are now. But and what I love what you're saying by you, right? What you just said. Um, and you figured out yourself. And you've stepped into, I don't want to say selfish because some people think of that as a negative word. So I call it self-full. Mm -hmm. So you've stepped into self-full and what Heather actually wants out of life. Um, and I think we were discussing something the other day about house moves as well. And you went away and you figured out, well, hang on a minute, A, B and C, this is what I want. And it's putting all those those big um rocks into the into the bag into the box and they are the things that have to be there so you know then what you want from a new house or a house, or if you're going to stay in it so it's it's all about the self-fullness self that you were actually actually exacerbating god i really are mixing my words up exacerbating <laughs> here aren't you but I, I'll, I'll put it a slightly different way that um is that and you do that of being selfish is not selfish at all uh, you know when when you're on an no. airplane when they're giving you the um the safety guidelines it's always put the oxygen mask on yourself yeah. before you help anybody else and it's like if you mm. look after yourself and as i say this is absolutely not selfish it is selfful i like that um is that if i look after myself and if my business is doing what it needs to do it's looking after me um but it's enabling you know in terms of what i deliver for my clients well then that's doing some yummy things too you know how how great is that um yeah so the yeah. more i make sure that i'm ticking the boxes that i need for for my business my personal life whatever it might be my home the more of those i can tick by doing what i do the better and that will also give me confidence that will also add to things because i'm in a place where the more so yeah i'm doing a declutter at the moment i'm doing a six week 
summer holiday, not that I have summer holidays, but anyway, <laughs> summer holiday declutter. Yeah. And I've committed to you know, getting rid of about 50% of what's in my house, which is a big, big thing. It's a big thing. But that's huge. That's huge. It's huge. But in doing that, I'm just thinking, you know, and part of the first bit of the exercise was, you know, why why are you doing this? You know, what 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 will your how will your home be different? Mm -hmm. And I'm just thinking, you know, just you know, the, the pure physical thing of stuff. Um, but also this yeah. stuff and and it really taps into some of these things that I'm letting go of if if there's one so there's yeah. one habit of, of a business and I let go of that business of oh God before COVID, but I've still got some of the stuff around that relates to that business. I don't need it. Yeah. It's like, yeah. you know, that's what that's what the charity shop marketplace and you know, etc. are there for. I, I don't need so why have I got why am I hanging on to those last little dregs of things? Yeah. Um, and they are holding me back energetically. You know, when you see them, it might not be conscious, but when you see those things, it's like it might, it might, and it might bring up a sense of well, it's, 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 energy. Yeah, it's energy sucking. But it's it sex, might, it's sex and energy. Yeah, but it also might bring up perhaps a sense of failure for some people. Is that oh that? Yeah. It's not, it's not that it failed. The business didn't fail. It was just no longer. It was just no longer relevant. Yeah, you know, life had moved. Yeah. On. life had moved on. It was no longer a relevant mm -hmm. business. And it was no longer relevant for me. So moved on. So no, no. failure. But no. So, but they can, yeah, you know, the, the, the brain can hang on to little things. Um, so why do I need to have that energy in my home? I don't. Yeah, it can go now. Thank you. <laughs> but making that conscious effort to get rid. It's like, that's free. So I'm very. You excited. just inspired me to do something, Heather. And I've got files here. And you know, I've moved off of and I've got files here from like 10, 15 years ago. Um, it's just like one day maybe I will use this map because I used to um, teach map reading skills and orienteering. I'm going to throw that out. It just inspired me. Yeah. And, 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 and the thing is, somebody else will take it on because for them, they'll use it in a completely different way. Love this is what he hasn't been used for 10, 15 years since I've been in Sweden. <laughs> yeah, you know, so obviously, the geography might have changed, so I don't know, but you know, but I think that we yeah. have to, letting go is is a really important part of, of moving forward. And it's also a really important part of, of and as I say, it's, it's, it's having that confidence to go and go, this can go now. I don't need it. You know, why am I keeping it? I don't need it in my home anymore. Or my office or my space or whatever i don't need it here yeah. why, why am i why am i keeping it um because when you see it it's a reminder it is a reminder as well isn't yeah. it and one of my examples here is that every, like i run it i got a dog sledding company alongside richard and during winter time we are extremely extremely busy and uh, at the end of the winter i am losing the will because of the mess and because of how untidy everything is and how unorganized my house is, the smell of my house from dog clothes. And, and I just can't wait for spring to spring clean to get rid of it all because I can feel the energy at the end of the season. Go, obviously, we're busy, but going down as well because you can see this mess. You walk into the home and you can just see this mess. There's nothing I can do about it right now because we're so busy. But it, it, you can feel the energy coming out of you. So by you decluttering, and this is a strategy that we use. So it's a strategy that we use to declutter our mind. We declutter. Some people might be happy with a, with a, with a cluttered house. That's fine. But this is a strategy that we use to declutter so that we can actually perform and be the best. And then I can be ready to go into the summer months then. Yeah. And 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 there are some people who like to have things and bits and pieces around them. And that's, as you say, it's ab that's absolutely fine. fine. I live in a relatively small house. Um, so, you know, yeah. I run five businesses from here or have done over the years. 
so yeah there are there are things that i need and some of them are seasonal so they've got to go somewhere you know i've got to put them somewhere um but if yeah. i can find a way and i'm as i say I, it's interesting how on this course and, and there's some people who say we'll do all the clothes at once and then do all of that it's like i can't do that because it would just take forever so i'm kind of going for one shelf at a time <laughs> There are, I've realized just how many shelves and drawers and things I've got that I need to clear, but it's fine. I've done, I started yesterday, which you don't know. I started yesterday, yeah. I've done the printer cabinet, and it's just like, yeah, can I give you a tip there? Because something I do the other day, yes. Can I give you a little tip there? I saw this on Mrs. Hinch, I love Mrs. Hinch, and she has a jar. And this jar, she puts, she, she's got a piece of paper, and then every piece of paper has a number on, right? From one to 20. So that goes in, all those numbers go in the jar. And every day when she's on a decluttering, she'll take a number out and say it's number six. You've, she's got to get rid of six things that day. Okay. Just a tip. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like that. So, I, think, I think for me, I'm, I'm a little bit more. I've got, I'm going to set my, my 15 minute window and we all find our own way. It's like, I've got a 15 minute window. Yeah, and absolutely. Minutes, I know I can do a shelf. Um, and then that's, Brilliant. that shelf yeah. is done. And then I can do that. And as I say, everybody has their, their, their way, but I do, I do it's like fine. that. I think. Um, and I think, especially if you're bringing in, like if you're doing it over the summer and you're bringing kids in, you can kind of go, right yeah. guys, we've got to get rid of six things today. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd, that'd be awesome. awesome. That could awesome. be lots of fun with them. Um, so, where is Heather today? Heather today, sitting in her lovely office with my nice paintings. Um, I, I am. <laughs> really, I'm, very, I'm very excited. As I say, there's two businesses where they are. I've had them for a long time, and they are just going through a, a, a period of transition. Um, they, they are a relatively small part of my life. But they, but they're, but they're important, um, and there is a little bit of soul searching going on as to how how they will fit into my life going mm. forwards. Um, just in terms of the, the the time turnover, you know, return um, yeah. that they are because they are a bit hobby, and and what what do I do with them, and how how best to move forwards? So th there's a little yeah. bit going on there, but it's it's happening in the background. I'm not letting it overwhelm me. Um, because the the immediate answer is not quite there yet, uh, so that's happening. Um, but the main thing mm -hmm. is effective entrepreneurs. Um, my my goal strategy work, which is kind of very exciting, it knits together beautifully with effective entrepreneurs. Basically, if you if you're doing good goal strategy, that's the setting the you know the the path and the achievement. You know goes part and is part and part of becoming a, an effective entrepreneur um so those two are mm -hmm. developing very nicely together i've written a book as you know um around you have book. written a book and i have the book. Book. Mm -hmm. out soon. i'll let claire know as soon as it's out it's going through some legal process i can't even tell you the name because it's going through a trademark um thing yeah but it is it's super innovative in terms of how we set and achieve our goals because I think we've all become a bit a bit bored with the way things have been done for so long. And let's just turn it on its head. Let's bring something new and exciting that is stimulating and kind of makes yeah. us excited about what we want to do and how we're going to get there. And let's let's face it, we're doing it all the time. Every day we we set and achieve goals, sometimes subconsciously, but we are yeah. doing it all the time. So yeah, the, yeah. these are literally going live in the autumn we have a very we have a we have a similar launch date it's just kind of happened that way which is fantastic we have and i've said and i've sworn heather to secrecy here because don't say this this or this because it's a secret and this is something that we are actually heather and i are going to work together um on this project which is coming out for everybody in this group um, the launch date of this project for me, my launch date is on the 7th of August, where everybody will find out what's happening. Um, and Heather's going to be involved in this and her book is going to be involved in this as well. So I'm super excited about that. 
And I've actually had the pleasure of proofreading it. So I know how good it is. Um, so yeah, it's going to be inspirational to everybody. And I am really super looking forward to it. And just a little plant the seed, because I think we're both under we both agree on this. Our goals um don't start in January, do they, Heather? When do our goals set and start? Not the, in January. It, it's in no January. And, and I and I think one of the one of the things, and I think this yeah comes into to your stuff as well, is that this idea yeah. that uh, a goal has to be a fixed point in time, all of that you know smart stuff. Which yeah, we, we're moving on from that. Let's put it that way. Um, is forward. that is that we are we are moving forward, and it's that you know what is what is the channel? You know, why why are you creating this goal in the first place? What what is its what is its purpose? And some of that, you know, you just go so, yeah, that's why our work goes so beautifully together. Um, so in terms of where I'm at, so as soon as the legal has gone through and then the book can then just get, you know, polished, because it it, it's only going to be polished once the legal's gone through, because just in case there's any little challenges on that. So I can get that through. And the exciting thing is that once, once the process, once the goals process is sort of unleashed upon the world, you know we'll be able to use it and the great thing is like like anything um is that you can go into things at a very quick not i'm not saying shallow in a bad way but you can literally have a very quick overview through the process or you can take a really really deep dive into it and and the the more you kind of understand as yeah. you start to look at how you do goals the kind of and this this applies it might apply it, it's probably not going to apply to you know how am i how am i going to get everybody to work on time on a train strike day you know that is a goal um but you're not necessarily have to go and go through the full process in order to do that that's an achievement <laughs> yeah but <laughs> but you'll start to recognize what you tap into in order to to achieve those things that you do achieve because you are having to do this all the time so but about what i'm really keen for people to do is to become much more conscious of what they do and how they work in order to achieve those goals um and that's really exciting and as i say i think um the, the work we'll be doing together will hopefully then um give people you know just a different insight and a different because the, the better the goals are and the more inspired you are, you combine that with the building and the confidence, you know, it's like, you know, it, it's kind of like, you know, they're enhancing each other. And, and um, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the more confident you are, the more likely you are to set a better goal and achieve it. And the, the better the goals that you're setting and the more, the more you, the more frequently you achieve what you set out to do, the more confident you become. Yeah oh wow isn't this cute they kind of yeah the, the, they, they go hand in hand don't they they go hand in hand, go hand, in hand. Heather, barry you've inspired me once more thank you so much i hope heather has inspired you as well and uh, you can reach out to, to heather you can see effective entrepreneurs but also look out for her launch and that's going to be it I will be promoting you anyway when you launch. So that would be fantastic. So Great. thanks again. And um, speak to you on Monday. <laughs> See you then, lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you, Heather. Lots of love. Bye now.